Hello all, welcome back to So They Say Vlog. It's been almost a month, which is my total bad. Um, what happened was my laptop, as I mentioned many, many weeks ago, was messed up and it kept overheating and shutting off. It was impossible to do anything on, so I had to send it away to get fixed. And it took almost four weeks for me to get it back, which is kind of ridiculous. We're gonna blame Toshiba and their crappy computers and uh, slow, horrible service, and that's why you haven't had a video for almost a month. Not much has changed in the past few weeks. Clearly, I haven't gotten a haircut since you last saw me. Um, I actually haven't had a haircut since, I don't know, before Christmas. It was right before we had our uh, hellacious family portrait. This family portrait, as a matter of fact, which took about an hour and I would say close to 50 takes to get. Um, that's what happens when you have 11 people, three of which are under the age of two. So, turned out alright though. So here I am three months later with all this shag going on. People like to call this my Carol, because it kind of looks like Carol Brady. My hair is just high maintenance. I mean, I, look, this is it pretty much naturally. I, it did get rained on today, but it has all these weird curls going on and flips and... Nothing is symmetrical, nothing matches. Look at this big, like, weird wave thing going on in the front. I don't even know what is happening there. Sometimes it's just really hard to do anything with. Um, it, people tell me that it looks good when it's messy and curly like this, but it's very hit or miss because you just have to kind of let it dry naturally and see what happens, and sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't look good. Or sometimes I'll blow dry it, even straighten it a little bit and uh, that'll look all right every now and then and kind of have a Justin Bieber thing going on sometimes. Once it gets so long though, it's really just easy to let it go natural. Um, just let it do what it does and helps me because I'm lazy. I'm actually thinking of going and getting it cut tomorrow after work. I'm very, very nervous about this. The reason I haven't got it cut for three months, even though it clearly needs it, is because I've had some really bad experiences getting my hair cut. Going all the way back to when I was a child, these people tried to give me a fade. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but it was, I mean, basically kind of buzzed around the side and the back and then long on top. It was stupid and ugly. And I, we got this done at Sears. Who knew Sears had a hair cutting place to begin with? From that point on, I could not walk past that place without bursting into tears. I cried when it happened and Every time after, even now, like I get this chill, like somebody's walking over my grave whenever I walk past that part of Sears. So I try not to go there. And then my freshman year here at UCF, I went, I had really long hair coming out of senior year of high school, like really long. And so I went to get it pretty much all cut off, uh, which was a huge deal. And I did it down here with someone that I didn't know. And he just butchered my head. It was so short. Obviously, it was going to be a drastic cut to begin with. But this, oh, I, I, I tried not to cry. I was like, you're 18 years old. You don't need to cry. Just let it happen. And it just, ah, uh, so traumatizing. And I, I think I had a cut another time down here. And they, they left everything kind of long, looking all right. But they cut the bangs super, super short like this and straight across. It looked like this weird Amish hairstyle thing going on. It was not cute. I have this one person, Gary, back home at the studio. Check it out in Charleston, Canal City. Um, and he's cut my hair since I was probably, I don't know, 12 or 13 years old if I had to guess. Other than those horrible few times that I've actually got it cut down here, um, he's always cut it. I wait until I go home, whether that's three months, four months, five months, six months, whatever. Well, this year, I didn't go home for spring break because I had to work, and that's normally would have been the perfect time to get it cut, and I didn't get to do that, so now it looks a hot mess, and I'm probably going to apply for a new job. I'm going to have to interview soon, and I definitely need to have some better looking hair. So incredibly long story still pretty long I'm gonna try to get a cut tomorrow it's really a matter of necessity outweighing fear that's how I balance it out and the next time you see me which might be Wednesday I don't know I could just have a, a practically bald head who knows if I get a bad haircut you'll know because I'll probably have a hat on the next time I do a video that's pretty much it hopefully Karen and I can get back on the ball with this and more interesting stuff will come up 
Until then, have a wonderful evening. I'm about to go have a Skype sesh with one of my best friends from home. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple days.